Hi, and a warm welcome to this, the 80th edition of Liz Burner Story Television. Coming up on today's show, we have exclusive highlights from last weekend as the Whites kicked off their league campaign with a challenging league game at Banbridge Town. We catch up with Whites defender Barry Moore to get his take on Saturday's game. And finally this week we have some important information regarding this Saturday's Steel and Sons Cup game as well as information leading to the club's first manager's lunch of the new season. Last Saturday saw the Whites kick off their league campaign with an away game to Banbridge Town in a match which was always going to provide a tough opening fixture for the club. Games between the sides have always been tightly contested hard fought matches and with both sides having their eyes fixed on a possible promotion push this season this time around was going to be no different. Here's the highlights. So, disappointment then for the distillery, but if we're honest, we got nothing from the game because we didn't deserve to. Bambridge were much more competitive on the day, closing us down at every possible opportunity and taking their chances when they came along. And indeed, the final scoreline could have been a lot worse. 
The Whites did have a glimmer of hope thanks to Matthew Ferguson's goal. However, we couldn't build on this and ultimately we paid the price for what was a below par performance. After the game, I spoke to an understandably disappointed defender, Barry Moore, for his thoughts on the match. And here's what Barry had to say. Barry, that wasn't uh, the sort of start of the league we were hoping for. Uh, no, definitely not. We came down here, we knew it was going to be difficult. Um, it's always hard against Bombridge, rather it's at home or away. Um, when kind of, you know what way they're going to play, it's just hard to limit limit them to the long ball over the top. Two strikers today for them, thought were brilliant. Um, just non-stop, they ran all day. Um, I think there'll be a lot on loan from Glen Avon, is it? He's super. Um, but like, they beat us early last season. Uh, at home and like the two of us were pushing for promotion at, at the end of the season so I'd say if we can shake ourse- give ourselves a shake we, it'll be the two of us pushing for promotion again. We give ourselves a slight glimmer of hope they're putting the goal back it brought it back to 2-1 but ultimately not to be It was a great goal by Spike I was about to strangle him because I was saying he should have been heading it back across the goal for someone else to get, get the chance it was a great header to be fair and said to him in there as well but I think for their third goal, just we needed we needed to press the ball. Probably myself when their number seven gets the ball, I should have been out on him to stop across. I thought he was. Sometimes I let them like when they're crossing it. You think Jonas just going to come, come out and get it because he does 99% of the time, and then he he gets clattered by the striker and don't know how it's not a free kick out. But don't want to blame anything on the ref because we weren't good enough today, and that's simple as that. Looking ahead now to the next league game, uh, which is Newington. Obviously, they have had a good win today, so that's going to be another hard game. Yeah, it always is against Newington. Um, you know you're in for a battle when you go and play them. Um, good 4 0 win against Moyola, was it today? So, great win, great start for them. So, they'll be flying, they're flying with confidence when we play them in two weeks. So, just need to get everyone get their training, work hard again, and back to the drawing board as such. And we'll be ready to go with this one defeat. Doesn't. It's not going to define our season, like it's long, still 21 games to go. So we'll get back to their training and we'll go again. Okay, thanks very much, Barry. Thank you. Elsewhere in the Premier Intermediate League on Saturday, there were fine wins for Sport Leisure Swifts, who beat Armagh City by five goals to one, Port Stewart, who defeated Dollingstown by four goals to one, and Newington, who defeated Myola Park by four goals to nil. Queen's University won 2 0 away from home at Lurgan Celtic. And Anna United also won away from home, defeating Tobermore by one goal to nil. Next up, it's time to look ahead at some forthcoming events and matches at the club. First up, it's our next fixture, which sees a return to Steel and Sons Cup action as the Whites take on Ballymena United under 20s in the second round of the competition. Supporters should note that the venue for this game has now been switched, we have now been played at New Grosvenor, with the earlier than usual kick-off time of 2.30pm. As ever, your support for the study on the day would be greatly appreciated. Saturday, September the 1st, sees our first manager's lunch of the season, which will take place ahead of our home game against Newington. As usual, supporters can avail of some great food on the day, as well as having the chance to hear from not only our first team management duo of Colin McElwain and Giorgio Boyle, but also on this occasion from Irish League legend Glenn Ferguson, who played such a massive part in our winning CAS League Cup team. Supporters are advised that on this occasion that if you plan to attend, it is essential that you confirm your place as soon as possible for gating purposes, as we're only able to cater for those who have pre-booked. To book your place, please speak to Jed Irwin at the Saturday's game, and you can also be contacted on the phone number, which is now showing on your screen. So that brings us to the end of episode 80 of Lisburn Distillery TV. As ever, thank you so much for tuning in, and for your ongoing support for Lisburn Distillery Football Club. Until the next time, come on you whites!